Hey guys and welcome back to the cat lady. Um Yeah, let's just go load our game up. This was intensely creepy the last time I played it, so I assume that it's not gonna let up with its creepiness. Um so let's go. We are playing as this woman here who loves cats and killed herself and now she's like oh now she's in the afterlife. Yes. It's you, Susan. Come I don't want to come closer. I don't want to say hello. I don't want to look at it. Haven't I had enough yet? That body in the ambulance. Then the forest. But this place is... This is exactly what I was trying to run away from. I don't want to be here. Make it go away. I assumed it would be wise to give you a little taste of the suffering you'd endure. I don't want a taste. I want you to understand that you can keep going long after you come. Wow. Crucified all alone in one place that's changed it all. I really don't want to be here. Pull out the crowbar. It's time to make a decision. Fuck! The parasites are coming, whether you want it or not. You haven't really got much choice. You must stand up for yourself. Fuck. Take a rough one over there, I'll do it my way. I'll do it my way. I take orders from nobody. Oh God. Understand, there is no other way. Well, I don't know that. Besides, you could be lying to me. How do I know you aren't? I'm no murderer. I don't want to be. I'll find another way without you. Oh God. Look, I appreciate you giving me another chance. I think I said the wrong thing. to try to fix my life but I really don't like what you're saying if there's one thing I learned in life it's that people let you down all the time if I don't rely on myself I can't rely on anyone else oh god I'm scared oh, you fuck. fool you damned arrogant fool you have no idea what you have just done. What did done. I do? I'm scared. Please don't kill me. But fine. Have it your way. In the end, I will be the one laughing at you. Um. I always am. Oh God. Let's apologize. I'm sorry, but it just doesn't make any sense to me. I don't want to know what's going to happen. It's hard enough without it. Don't show me, please. Thanks for everything, though. When we meet again, you will be oh, God. on your knees to give you a second chance. I don't really believe in second chances, so I might have to disappoint you again. Look, this is all just a bad dream. I want to wake up. Should I just said yes? I'm back in the house. Okay, it'll be fine. I don't need her. I'm sure I'll figure out what oh to God, do. God, I should have just said yes. I'm so scared. Oh God. All I did was blow out a candle. They left me no choice, Alan. Maybe one day you'll forgive me. What the hell? What just happened? 
Who the hell just killed himself? I think that's enough for now. I think that's enough for now. Who was that? Oh, we can't touch it. That's bullshit. Okay. So, I'm still wondering... What the... How did I get back here? Yeah, I'm still wondering what would have happened if we had said yes. That we would just join her or whatever. Right, we don't need to look at that. We've seen it. God damn it, man. <laughs> I pissed off Satan or whoever the hell she was. Oh, God. I should have just said yes. Now I'm terrified. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm guessing we're going back to the, um, the place with the machine and we're going to rip off the um, uh, the boards that are on the switch and we're going to push, push the button or pull the lever or whatever. Or we're just going to, it's just going to turn it into Half-Life because we've got a crowbar now, so that's all you need. God, this place again, right. Okay, go ahead and use the crowbar. Hole. Oh wait, there's just a hole. Oh wait. Come on, you. The fuck! The fuck! Oh god, Satan's gonna kill me, I'm scared. God, let me out. Oh, good grief. Oh, good grief, let me out. Fuck. Why is he giving me credits? I don't know what's going on right now. <laughs> Am I gonna wake up? Oh, I don't like that noise. What is that? Okay. <gasps> so is that us finished chapter one? Yeah, it is. here comes chapter two. That was intense. Like, I wonder what ha what happens if I just say yes. Like, holy crap! <laughs> Did she just like send me back straight away? Or yes, I do enjoy fine art. Thank you for noticing. There's a certain raw beauty to it that modern painters often fail to recreate. I always wanted to be an artist myself, but it'll be a long time before I can call myself that. Okay. I often say that patients are my canvas. Oh, he's already creeping me out. My job is more about restoration, obviously. I look at the damaged human mind and bring them back to their former beauty. I'm sorry. I'm probably Yes, yes you are. No, <laughs> it's not that. It's just... It's been a difficult couple of days. I'd really like to go home. Of course. And go home you will. As soon as we've done this little assessment... Oh no, another Rorschach test. You probably know how it works. I've read in your file you used to be a nurse. Yes, I know very well how it works. You want to check if I'm nuts? Well, I wouldn't use that <laughs> expression, obviously. But yes, 
We have to make sure you're safe and figure out how to help you. You can't help also, me. Also, as a nurse yourself, you know there's always paperwork involved. These forms won't fill themselves. Honestly, Susan, you have nothing to worry about. Could you have said that any creepier? This is just a formality. Nothing to worry straight about. away that you are not nuts. Fine. What would you like to know? How about I'll these nuts? all your questions. Then I'll go home, take a long shower, and catch up on sleep. Wonderful. Let's see then. Where do we begin? Okay, here we go. What the hell is going on here? I'm in hospital. She's awake, Doctor. Good evening. It's good to see you awake at last. You're in the Cedar Lake Hospital. My name is Andrew. I'm one of the doctors. Would you confirm your name for me, please? <laughs> Susan, Susan Ashworth. Ashworth. Hello, Mrs. Ashworth. Well, I'm glad to see you're all right. You're on the ward now. Your condition is stable. I can see your brain functions just fine and there's no permanent damage of any sort. We've checked your internal organs and they're fine too. You're a very lucky lady, Susan. You might experience <laughs> extreme tiredness and lethargy for a couple of days, but that should soon pass. I would advise plenty of rest now. The nurses on this ward will take it from here. Please, let them know if you need anything. Having take care, Mrs. Ashworth. Having trouble following right now. Please, don't try to speak. What did you say? Don't worry, Mrs. Ashworth. Your arm is fine. No, no, no. There was nothing wrong with your arm, darling. Now calm down. Would you like me to get you some water? Let me get you a drink. I'll be back in a second. You sounded Welsh. <laughs> Finding it hard to follow right now with all the changes going on. I'm sorry, Susan. Did I wake you? Yes. I have to take your blood pressure. Two seconds and I'm gone. She's totally Welsh. <laughs> My name is Liz, by the way. I... Hi. I'm sorry. I know this isn't very nice. Believe me, I hate waking people up just for this. But being a nuisance is part of my stupid job, unfortunately. Oof, I hate this place. She's Tell a real donor. Susan. Can I call you Susan? No. So anyway... I shouldn't say it, but you know I'm going to anyway. You are so lucky. It's crazy. You, doing what you've done. All right, okay. Her, walking in, seeing what she saw. That was a chance. One in a million. So this is me waking I'm up in hospital. I'm making sense again, am I? After we're taking I'm all the tired. pills. They're working us to death here, you know. Modern day slavery. One day I'll tell them what I really think. I swear I will. Yes, ah, yes. And here it is. You've got the blood pressure of an 18-year-old. Just wanted to say you're lucky, I think. And that I hope you've changed your mind about some things. Got to go, but I'll see you later. You take care, sweetheart, yeah? So where does the doctor come into it? Just try to place that scene because obviously her arm got thingied off and we, we've obviously been revived in the hospital after... um after we took the pills or whatever um, but in between that we were talking to a doctor I'm just wondering how is that later or is oh my god what the hell the fuck is ah! oh god Bad dream. <laughs> yeah, a really bad yeah, one. A really bad one. I knew it. I could see as soon as I came in the room that you were having a nightmare. I guess I shouldn't have woken you up. What was it about? I was born alive. I can't remember. It's none of your business. Uh, I can't remember. I can't remember. It's just like that sometimes, isn't it? 
You just have this weird emptiness in your head. The harder you try to remember, the worse it gets. Maybe it's better though. Try to remember the good things, Susan. Forget the bad ones. At least for now. I get nightmares too. I get them, and I can't wake up. Or sometimes I dream that I'm falling. Those are strange dreams. Because I Gosh, think I like them. She sure I talks think a lot. Falling, but I never fall, if you know what I mean. Never hit the ground. Never. What happened to me? What happened to me? Well, how much do you remember? I. I took some pills, and I fell asleep in the chair. I remember how the room kept spinning around me slowly. I felt so calm, and then... I woke up here and saw you. <laughs> I woke up here, Nothing happened. and I saw you. Nothing Can happened you now between. tell me who found me, and what happened? Well, your body went into a coma. You were lucky she came home and found you. I told you that before. Who's she? What? Who found me? Her daughter, of course. She called an ambulance. If it wasn't for her, you'd sure be dead now, Susan. My daughter? Yes. I have a Why? daughter? Why do you look so pale all of a sudden, Susan? I don't have a daughter. Whoever she is, she lied. I thought as much. <laughs> Why would she do that? How should I know? I was in a coma, apparently. So she lied. It doesn't change the fact that you owe her your life. I was My fine. God. I didn't ask for any help. Sorry. When will they let me go home? When will they let me go home? I'm not sure. Probably not today. Maybe tomorrow. Look, I shouldn't say that. But you seem like a nice person. I feel like I should warn you. There's this doctor here. They call him. <laughs> oh God, no! It's Xavier. In this hospital, you won't be able to go home until he's talked to you, and he—he's really good at getting into your head. He's a mutant. That's you know why. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He will ask you a lot of tricky questions. We've all seen X Men. Come on. But he's a really great guy. You should trust him. Mm -hmm. Sure. Wait, am I actually Phoenix? Am I actually... <laughs> uh, right, okay. Tell me something... Oh, I don't want to talk about herself. Did you see Did this daughter you of mine? see this daughter of mine? No. Sorry, Susan. Apparently, she came in the ambulance with you. But Apparently? But then she something and had to go. I think someone mentioned she went in quite a hurry. Of course she did. She was worried I'd ask her what she was doing in my flat. Um... Saving your life? Do I really have to give her a benefit of the doubt just because of that? One would assume so. That girl is a hero. Maybe real heroes always leave before their identity is revealed. <laughs> or she was a burglar, attempting to steal from me. Hmm. That's a possibility too. Have what you got anything very like precious in your flat? Maybe. I'm tired, let me sleep now. <laughs> I'm tired. Let me sleep now. Fine. I'll see you again. Be careful who you trust here, Susan. They will be watching you. How do I know you're not one of them? You what don't. It? What does that mean? Or do I really look like a bad person to you? I... I don't know. Maybe not. I'll see you tonight. Remember what I said. Dreams are just dreams. But when they turn into nightmares, it's good to have someone there to pinch your arm and wake you up. Right? Oh god, back to the doctor again. We'll start with a little chat about your childhood. I want you to be as honest as possible. It's important if we want to get to the bottom of your problem. <laughs> Count to ten and tell me when you're ready, Susan. I'm ready. This isn't all about whether you're nuts or not, like we said before. It's about finding what has caused how you're feeling now. 
and creating a working solution. In order to achieve that, I need to get to know you better. Can we talk about your childhood? Oh, it's always the childhood. Your parents. When you're a child, your life revolves around them. What was your father like? Did you have a good relationship with him? I was brought up without a father. No, he wasn't a good father to me. Yeah, I had a great yeah, dad. I had a great dad. I have very fond memories of my father. Yeah. He was always there for me, no matter what I did. He never got angry or upset. I suppose I never really gave him any reasons to be. I was a good child. Not perfect. But then again, no one's perfect. Whatever made me try to kill myself, it definitely has nothing to do with him. Where is he now? He died six years ago. Cancer. Oh dear. Do you miss him? Of course I miss him. How can you even ask me that? It's my job to ask these questions, Susan. Let's talk about your mother now. What was she like? Would you care to tell me about her? <laughs> Should we say we had a wonderful mom as well? I lost her when I was still a child. She was a horrible monster. Okay, let's just say I had a wonderful mom as well. I can't complain. My mum was great. She brought me up well. Me and her. We were like best friends. Like soulmates. We did everything together. She passed away seven years ago. Oh, for God's when sake. Dad first got diagnosed with cancer, it was too much for her. He kept pretending he was fine, but she just couldn't take it. Her heart gave up. She died quickly. My father kept fighting it. Another eight months of illness and intensive chemo finally beat him, though. He thought he was unbeatable, but he wasn't. <sighs> Good grief, this is sad. <laughs> I'm beginning to get a better picture. That's enough about your parents for now. Let's take two minutes and we will talk about something else. Okay. So, I'm guessing... I need to get out of this place. I hate hospitals. Besides, I really want to go home and forget all about this. It wasn't just a dream. Finally, I can leave it here. <laughs> um, very talky episode, this one. Good God. They like to talk, don't they? Um, and she clearly had a very depressing childhood. Don't know who the guy was that hung himself, um, that we saw when we blew out the candle. Uh, yeah, so many questions. And why do I have... I don't know what this is that I have. A band, I guess. From my arm, probably. Um, <laughs> this game's pretty awesome. Uh, like the video if you liked it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time.